Glory, 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 glory to God, glory to God. He's worthy to be praised, hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Just want to lift him up and glorify his name, hallelujah, Jesus. As I sit out in the cool of the evening, And just blessed the Lord for he's God and God all by himself. And I just bless him and uh, give him all the glory, the honor, and the praise that's due to his name. He's worthy to be praised. I am Pastor Prophet Elder Joseph Grant from Orangeburg, South Carolina. I am the pastor of Supernatural Praise Ministries here in Orangeburg, South Carolina, on the west, on the east coast, hallelujah, Jesus. Just blessing the Lord, hallelujah, for he's worthy to be praised. And again, I'm out in nature and just blessing his name, for he is worthy of all the praise, hallelujah, Jesus. He's worthy of all the praise, and I just uh, bless him in advance for the opportunity once again. and. Uh, the weather's nice and the birds birds are chirping and hallelujah Jesus and the trees are, are bowing hallelujah the, the Bible lets us know that everything that has breath praise the Lord but I want to just want it to come to you today and this afternoon just to bless the Lord and, and give him all the glory and the honor and the praise and as we sit in this universe hallelujah Blessing the Lord for old Mother Earth, hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised, being led by the Spirit today. God has allowed me to see and he gave me this uh, revelation on uh, Saturday morning. He gave me the revelation and gave me different things that he wanted me to release into the atmosphere. And I thought it was gonna be Sunday, Saturday, but he said, no, You just I'll let you know. So I bless the Lord for the the topic that God's given unto me is release faith-filled words. God's word, hallelujah, faith-filled words. God's word, hallelujah, Jesus. I wanna go ahead and release a prayer into the atmosphere. And uh, this is a perfect time to release a, a, a prayer into the atmosphere as we approach, hallelujah, hallelujah, another day according to uh, the Jewish calendar, hallelujah, Jesus. I bless the Lord as uh, he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, I give you glory, honor, and praise, and I just magnify you, and I lift you up on high, believing and receiving that you're God and God all by yourself. For you have allowed us to understand and know that, hallelujah, the Bible declares and let us know that let no man teach you except the Holy Ghost. So God, I thank you for just allowing me to be uh, led by the Spirit, hallelujah, to even releasing this word according to your word, hallelujah. I'm from Genesis, the revelation, I believe and I receive that somebody is in the need of this word. Oh God, I bless you right now that there's healing in the land, there's healing in your word, hallelujah. I decree and I declare for you a spirit, hallelujah, and those that serve you must serve you in spirit and in truth. So God, we walk in the spirit, hallelujah, believing and receiving that God is God and God all by himself. So every person that will pick up their phone or, or whatever they may have to access this video, this broadcast, God, let them have ears to hear, hallelujah. You said in your word, according to Philippians 4 and 7, hallelujah, faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. So I thank you right now that this word has touched down in the earth realm. And we say amen, amen, and amen. I want to bless the Lord, hallelujah, for the topic that God has allowed me to see. Uh, so he allowed me to see this on Saturday morning. And it says, release faith-filled words. Faith-filled words is the word of God from Genesis to Revelation. Uh, the first thing I want to really deal with, it says, speak god said he told this is what he told me to write down speak life over yourself that you shall live and not die to proclaim hallelujah what the lord has already done to proclaim what the lord has already done y'all hear that he says speak life over yourself 
that you shall live and not die and proclaim what the Lord has already done. Hallelujah. So what it lets me understand from the beginning of time, hallelujah, and if we can go back to Genesis, Genesis, Genesis the revelation, Genesis is the beginning and revelation is the end. At the beginning he says, let there be light and there was light. So he spoke it into existence. He didn't lift a finger. He spoke it. That means words matter. Words has power. Hallelujah. So I, I really got to bless the Lord because uh, it lets me understand and know that uh, Psalms 118 and 7, hallelujah, it says, speak life over yourself that you should live and not die. Proclaim what the Lord has already done. So there's, there's life and death in the power of the tongue, which would be the next thing I'm coming up to. He's telling us we got to decree a thing and we got to declare it. Hallelujah. So what that lets me know that my daddy, God, he got many names, the most high. Hallelujah. Almighty God. I great, uh, the great I am. I am that I am. He's whatever you need him to be. Hallelujah. He's whatever you need him to be at that particular time. Hallelujah. So he's letting us understand and know that we have the authority to call those things that be not as though they were. And so when you say, well, pastor, I don't understand what you're saying. That means you got to walk by faith. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, now faith is, now faith is a substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. So in other words, we can't see it with the natural eye. That's why we got to turn on the third eye. Hallelujah. The third eye is the awakening eye. Hallelujah. That means it opens up your perception. Hallelujah. I know growing up as a child and a lot of us say, well, you know, you're sitting there imagining. Stop imagining your imagination. Your imagination. What is your imagination? Your perception of what you're seeing in the spirit. Hallelujah, Jesus. So we have the authority. God has built in a third eye. A third eye is not these two naked eyes, not these two eyes, not these eyes, but the third eye, hallelujah, which is the pineal gland, hallelujah, it's called the spiritual eye. That's that eye that, we could, that can foresee the future. That's that eye, hallelujah, Jesus, glory to God. That's that eye, hallelujah, that creates something. Because the Bible lets us also know in Genesis, it says, let us make man of our own image. Hallelujah. So if God is the creator, that makes, that makes us the creator. We are the small G's in the earth. We have the ability and the authority to create. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I, I really got to bless the Lord because, it, again, speak life over yourself. You don't need to be speaking death over yourself. That's why I'm out here in nature. You look at these trees. You look at these, this bush, this red tips. And I'm hearing the birds chirping and the, and the clouds is shifting. Hallelujah. And the, the wind is blowing up against my face. It lets me know that everything around me is alive. Hallelujah, Jesus. The trees cannot grow without water. I cannot breathe without the oxygen coming off the trees. So I bless the Lord. Hallelujah. He's allowed me to know that I am a part of the ingredient on earth. I have the authority because I have kingdom citizenship. Who is the king? God is the king. He's the king of king of glory. He, he's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. So I, I got to really give him the glory because he's allowed me to know. And I, I bless the Lord for God giving me downloading this information and revelation into me on Saturday morning. He said, speak life over yourself. Tell the people to start speaking life over themselves. Stop receiving something that you don't have to receive everything. Hallelujah. You don't just have to settle for anything. He said, you got to start, begin to speak life over yourself by using my word. Hallelujah, Jesus. So that's why songs, songs 118 and 17, 118 and 17 is so important. We, you got to start speaking life over yourself. You got to say, you know what? I shall live and not die. My mother always said, I shall live and not die. I'm running for my life, but I shall live and not die. That means I'm speaking over myself. I'm speaking positivity over myself. Hallelujah, Jesus. So that, that's, one of the, that's the second thing that God allowed me to see. The third thing was, God said, 
there's life and death in the power of the tongue. There's life and death in the power of the tongue. You will say, Pastor, I don't have no sound doctrine. I'm glad you asked me that. Go to Proverbs 18 and 21. It says, hallelujah, Jesus. There's life and death in the power of the tongue. Hallelujah. So it lets me understand. And, and those that love it will eat the fruit of. So you, what, what it's letting me understand, I have the authority to call those things that be not as though they were. Hallelujah, Jesus. It, it lets me understand that, know that I'm not going to call nothing bad to pass. Hallelujah. I, I call the things, hallelujah, of God. The Bible lets me understand and know, hallelujah, that I have the authority to speak positive or negative. Hallelujah. But I choose to speak positive. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. I bless you, Lord. I bless you in the midst of this because uh, this, the fourth thing that God has allowed me to see concerning this, release positive words and not negative words. Okay, you say, well, Pastor, I don't understand what you're talking about. And releasing positive words and not negative words. Okay, I'm going to give you scripture and then we're going to go to work for the revelation from on high. Hallelujah, Jesus. The scripture for positive words, hallelujah, it comes from uh, Philippians 4 and 19. This is what Jesus says. See, I want y'all to get this about Jesus too. Jesus, he, we have the same authority that Jesus had when he was on earth. Matter of fact, he said we had greater works. We could be able to do greater works. Jesus was just a blueprint because he never did anything without consulting his father. He, he was led, in other words, he was led by the spirit of God. Hallelujah. He was led by the spirit of the Lord. That's why he's letting us know. It says, I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthened me. I'm more than a conqueror. Okay, what you are, Pastor, I don't still don't understand. What is positive words? Positive words to me is I'm blessed going in and I'm blessed coming out. I'm blessed hallelujah and highly favored i'm blessed and highly favored i'm the head and not the tail i'm above and not beneath i'm a peculiar people i'm a chosen generation see you got to know how to speak life over yourself hallelujah you, you can't depend on somebody else to speak life over you because you on your own you got to walk in the spirit and say you know what lord hallelujah i can do all things through jesus who strengthened me i'm more than a conqueror and what god is allowing me to understand hallelujah I, I'm gonna speak hallelujah or I shall have this I shall have that new car I shall have that new house my bank account is flowing over see you got to begin to call those things that be not as though they were hallelujah you got to stop hallelujah Jesus say well, oh you know what I don't have no money in my bank account you just spoke death. Hallelujah. You just you spoke in you spoke you speaking death over yourself. You speaking death over your finances. Or uh, uh, you know, I'm struggling and, and no, you speaking death. Okay, let me give you another example. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Let me let me give you another example of negative words. Hallelujah. And the negative words gives off negative energy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Stop speaking negative words. I can't. You gotta take can out of your vocabulary. I can't. So what I did when God showed me this years and years ago, I took can't out and I said, I can do all things through Jesus who strengthened me. I'm more than a conqueror. So you said, well, pastor, Jesus strengthened you. Jesus is not even here. No, he just, he's not here, but he left his name here. In other words, when he was on earth, he showed us how to do things. He showed us, hallelujah, to heal the blind. He showed us, hallelujah, Jesus, to turn two fish and five loaves in a bread two fish and five loaves of bread and to feed the multitude what what he did was he never did anything on his own he looked up to the father and said lord you already know what i'm going to ask you father so god i release this to you in other words what you're saying you got to pray 
You got to go up vertical in prayer. You say, Lord, you know what? I, I, God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you for, hallelujah, supplying all my needs according to Philippians 4 and 19. I thank you, God, hallelujah, for even healing my body because, God, you, everything on earth, hallelujah, every, you've already equipped us with everything we need to be healed. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I, I, I really got to bless the Lord because in the midst of this, the blood was already spilt on Calvary. Hallelujah. You said, well, oh, Pastor, uh, uh, we, we still got to, uh, uh, how are we going to do this? Because we're covenant people. That means we are a peculiar people. We are a chosen generation. Hallelujah. I want you to understand, we're not just somebody that's, that's throwing away. God is the creator of heaven and earth. He's created all of us. Hallelujah, Jesus. But you got to understand, everybody's not God's children. Hmm. What you talking about, Pastor? Those that believe. Do you believe? Do you have faith? Hallelujah, Jesus. So it, it lets me know. Check this. This is another negative word that we often use. I, I feel a headache coming on. You better stop saying that. Oh, I feel a headache coming on. I feel a toothache coming on. Don't you know we just released there's, there's life and death in the power of the tongue? Hallelujah. In other words, if you say, oh, I feel a headache coming on, that headache got to come to pass because you have authority in the earth realm to speak and call those things that be not as though they were. That's why you got to start speaking negative stuff and you got to speak faith filled words. Hallelujah. And the closest thing that I use that lines up and keeps me in alignment with the will of God that keeps me in alignment with the universe that keeps me in alignment with the promises of God hallelujah is the word of God so in other words I gotta say you know what Lord hallelujah that this is that's one of them you know if you speak a headache it got to come to pass you got power in your tongue power is in your mouth and then you turn around and say oh you know what that storm is gonna hit us why are you calling a storm to you Hallelujah, Jesus. Because if you call that storm, oh, that storm going to hit us. No, that storm ain't hitting me. It may hit something around me, but it's not going to hit me. Hallelujah, Jesus. So, and this is another one. This is what we're dealing with right now. I'm hearing they're saying on the news, they're saying in social media, they're saying all this, oh, the virus hasn't peaked yet. I'm not saying that because that virus is dead. It is dead in my book. Hallelujah. Because in, I believe in the most high. I believe in God. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not giving no idol God no credit. I'm giving God all the glory because he's de he deserves the glory. Hallelujah. So I'm sitting here and I'm listening to what everybody is saying. Oh, that virus is going to peak out and that virus is going to do this and that virus is going to do that. You know, understand, I, I hear what you're saying, and I'm not going to be ignorant to Satan's devices, but I want you to understand that don't apply to me. Hallelujah. Because the most high is shielding me. God Almighty is covering me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, I got sense enough to go wash my hands before I eat. I got sense enough to wash my hands after I use the bathroom. I got sense enough not to touch this and touch that. Hallelujah. See, I'm telling you, I told you before in the last video, the devil is so extra. He is so extra. And his job is to get you to look to distract you. He wants you to be distracted. Hallelujah, Jesus. But I want you to understand, if you begin to speak faith-filled words, that I shall live and not die. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I'm a peculiar people. I'm a chosen generation. My bank account is overflowing. Hallelujah, Jesus. I have those things. I'm not heritable sheep. Mm, glory to God. In other words, goes back to Genesis, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. God said, I created you in my own image. So what that's telling me, I have the same legal right and authority through Jesus Christ, as Jesus, as God, to call those things that be not as though they were. So I can say, let there be light. And there was light. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm sitting here in the nature, in the cool of the evening. 
the, uh, the forecast, forecast said it was supposed to rain all day. And I asked God, I said, Lord, hold the rain back because you wanted me to release this, God. I said, hold the rain back. And if you want to release it afterwards, God, that's fine. But let me release your word. God said, no problem. Hallelujah. See, that's how I talk to God. I talk to God in a, in a sense of just like we're having a conversation. I got another chair beside me, and I said, Holy Spirit, have a seat. Uh, help me with this segment. Because, see, he's a person. He's a gentleman. That means he's a spirit. Hallelujah, Jesus. And those that serve him must serve him in spirit and in truth. So I stand on Genesis, from Genesis to Revelation, believing and receiving that God is God. And I'm always going to be led by the Spirit. I bless the Lord for my little sister earlier today, um, Keisha Lane, and, and I always encourage her. Every, listen, everybody have a different assignment. Everybody have a different assignment. If everybody can focus on what they're supposed to do, this is how the body of Christ will work. Hallelujah. This is how the body works. The fingers can't move without the hand. The feet can't move without the legs. I can't see without the eyes. I can't hear without the ears. But when you put all that together, it forms a body. Hallelujah, Jesus. That means if you carry out your assignment and I carry out my assignment, Hallelujah, Jesus. That means manifestation has to come to pass. Manifestation has to come to pass. I don't care what it look like. I don't care what it is. I'm not concerned about what's going on now because see what it is. God has allowed all of us to be at the same place. I mean, well, not at the same, but facing the same situation. But the, the Bible also lets us know the race is not given to the swift but the one that endure, the one that holds out. And you say, well, pastor, I don't know what to do. Go to James 1 and 5. He said, those that like wisdom, let him ask. Go to your father. Hallelujah, Jesus. A lot of times we want everybody always, we always want somebody to pray for us. We got to have a relationship with God ourselves. That means you should be able to go, Jesus said, you will be able to go boldly to the throne of grace. Hallelujah and petition God for yourself. It's good to come in agreement. There's nothing wrong with that. But what do you do when you can't find your pastor? What do you do when you can't find Keisha Lane? Or what do you do when you can't find anybody else that's, that's walking in the spirit, hallelujah, and pressing toward the high calling? What do you do? You got to know how to pray. You really, you really got to know how to pray. And as what we are going through in this world, this universe we have the authority y'all if we come together stop hating on each other stop hating let's come together like we prayed earlier today on her live and i know somebody say well how can you get on her live she's just she's my sister in christ she's my brothers and my sisters hallelujah because listen let me tell you something god is the creator and he sent jesus christ a lot of people say his name ain't Jesus. Okay, whatever you say. But I know God had a son. Hallelujah, Jesus. I proclaim Jesus Christ. I called out Jesus Christ. I believe in Jesus Christ. You got the S-U-N and you got the S-O-N. Hallelujah. The S-U-N is what shines every day. Hallelujah. And you got another, uh, you got uh, the S-O-N, the son. Hallelujah, Jesus. But if we can come together, we can really destroy the works of the enemy we can destroy the works of the devil i hear a lot of people but this is my denomination well we're we not serving the same god uh, can somebody help me with this i'm at this domination now you at this no we not, we're not supposed to be competing we're supposed to come together that's why the bible lets us understand that the devil was so effective and it says legion Legion mean over 2,000 angels. That's fallen angels. They come together in, in a unit. That's why they are so effective. But listen, if the body of Christ can come together, hallelujah, if you have faith, there's something about you, God is in you. If you have faith, and I know you do, because you believe that man didn't create these trees. Man can't put the sun in the sky. The birds are chirping. 
Who can give me breath? Who can give me this Ruach breath but God? So if we can come together in this world, all these different things, uh, natural disasters, violence on the rise, sickness, all these different things can be destroyed. It's literally can be destroyed. It can be destroyed. All we gotta do is come together. Y'all see this? Come together. Come together. And be about our father's business. Be about our father's business. Pray without ceasing according to 1 Thessalonians chapter uh, 15, chapter 5, verses 16 through uh, 15 through 17. We got to pray without ceasing. In all things, give thanks. God, I thank you for this fresh air. I thank you that you held the rain back till I get finished. I thank you that the trees are giving off oxygen. I thank you that I'm breathing this Ruha breath tonight, today. I thank you, God, in the midst of all of this, the greenery behind me, the birds are chirping, the clouds are shifting. Only you can do that, God. So I thank you, God, for putting words, faith-filled words in my mouth. Hallelujah, Jesus. Putting faith-filled words in my mouth. And God, as we come together and when we pray, when we pray, Father, when we pray, the works of the devil will be destroyed. Violence will be canceled. Sickness will be canceled. Jealousy will be canceled. Hallelujah, Jesus. Evil shall be destroyed. God, let us come together. Not just here in Orangeburg, South Carolina, but from state to state, from country to country, from, as a matter of fact, the whole universe. I often say, Spirit of the living God, as you move from heart to heart, mind to mind, soul to soul, household to household, street to street, neighborhood to neighborhood, town to town, city to city, state to state, country to country, the universe, the universe. I bless the Lord today, and I'm just asking each and every one of you, let us be about our Father's business. A lot of us go to different churches or whatever your fellowship may be, but we are serving the same true and living God. And that true and living God is the most high God. That's one of his names. Another name is, hallelujah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shama, El Shaddai, the almighty God. I am that I am, the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah the God of Israel. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord because of the Israelites. That's what God's chosen people, the Israelites. The Israelites, Moses led them out of captivity, out of Egypt. As God moved and, and Jesus came on the scene and he shed blood on Calvary, Apostle Paul talks about how not just the Israelites, but the Gentiles. Listen, God is the creator of heaven and earth. He created each one of us. He handcrafted us because he's the potter and we're the clay. Hallelujah, Jesus. Psalms 100 says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. He said, all ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. He's not concerned whether you sing A flat or B sharp. He said, make a joyful noise 
unto the Lord, all you lands. He says, everybody. See how the wind, see how the, the wind is picking up? Thank you, Holy Ghost. The trees are beginning to bow because he says everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. He says everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Even the trees giving God glory. The trees are bowing. Hallelujah. The trees are shifting. The clouds are shifting. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God, and it's He that has made me, you, 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 and you. It is He that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people. Look at the wind blowing now; it's picking up. We are His people. Hallelujah, Jesus. We are his people. We are his sheep of his pastures. And his mercy endures for all generations. So you know what? There's not colors in heaven as far as skin colors. We got the same color blood. And I believe that Jesus shed his blood for us. Hallelujah, Jesus. I don't care about the nationalities, but if we can come together, my prayer is that we come together. Because I believe, as God allowed me to see on Thursday night, Friday night, Friday or Saturday night, as he allowed me to release a broadcast, he showed me in the spirit, in seven days, if each born-again believer, somebody that believes on God, would release it as well, no matter what it looked like, it is well. If we can come together and release it as well into the atmosphere, because it's word, y'all, that's word. That's in the word. It is well. I don't care what it looked like right now. It is well. I don't care what they're saying. It is well. I don't care what I might be in the midst of. It is well. In other words, these are faith-filled words. I shall live and not die. I shall live and not die. There's life and death in the power of the tongue. Come on, y'all. Let's get together. Can we get together and, and just talk a little bit and, and bombard heaven and watch the mighty move of God? Because he said, before you call, I've already answered. He said, before you call, I've already answered. Meaning that the spirit, see, we, when we release him in the spirit, we release in the spirit. We release in the spirit because, see, we are spiritual. We, we are spiritual beings. We literally, we are spiritual beings housed in an earthly body. We may be in this world, but we are not of this world. That lets me understand. Yes, I mean, I may have a, a temporary citizenship of the United States, but my real citizenship is in the kingdom. I have kingdom citizenship. That means my daddy owns me. Hallelujah, Jesus. My daddy owns me. That means I have kingdom citizenship. So glory to God. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us just continue to come together and support each other. Stop trying to pull everybody. Let's just come together. Let's come together and pray unto the Father and let him work it out. It is well. It is well. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking out your time this evening just to come in agreement. Come in agreement that that virus don't have no place in our lives. Natural disasters don't have no place in our lives because we are covered by the Most High. We are covered by God himself. The blood has never lost its power. <laughs> We're covenant people, y'all. We are covenant people. Glory to God. Can I get some, can, can I get everybody right now to just say, it is well. Come on, let's take a minute to say, it is well. Just say, it is well. It is well. 
it is well. Some of you may be laid off from your jobs and some of your, your, your uh, workplaces is closed or whatever it is, but you know what? It is well. I don't care what it look like. It is well. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm going to begin to speak faith-filled words over my life. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is. Now, right now, now faith is a substance of things hoped for. Evidence. Y'all ready for the evidence? We looking for the evidence to come to pass. Evidence. Evidence to come to pass. That's why we release it, it as well into the atmosphere. And we got to continue to release it as well. It is well, and it is well, and it is well. And Keisha Lane, I think she said 120 or something that we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm, 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 I'm connecting with them, and we're gonna pray every day. We're gonna pray every day. Keisha, what's your time? If you can release that time for when, when you, when you, when you like to pray, Hallelujah. Cause see, we gotta come in agreement as the body of Christ. We gotta come in agreement. We gotta literally come in agreement, Hallelujah. We gotta come in agreement as believers, believers. Hallelujah of God. Amen. I think it's I think she said it was uh 120 uh p.m. I think. So let's continue to pray. Let's continue to pray without ceasing. Let's continue to release it as well into the atmosphere. Continue to release it as well. Y'all hear the birds chirping? Nobody can do that but God. See the, the limbs, the trees are bowing. Nobody can do that but God. Clouds are shifting. Nobody can do that but God. Hallelujah. And I'm sitting out here with no mask on. God, the trees are giving off oxygen. Hallelujah, Jesus. God allowed the rain because the pollen was falling. It's pollen represent, look at the birds. Pollen represents the trees in a new beginning state. They are budding. They are bringing forth new fruit. Hallelujah, Jesus. Faith filled fruit. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. That is, it is well. It is well, family. It is well. I want to thank each and every one of you that has not found it robbery uh, to just help us. Help me. We are a team and we are a unit because we represent God. We represent God. We are just carrying out the ministry, God's ministry, Jesus Christ's gospel. We carrying it out throughout all the world. Because those ones that are going through different things right now, a lot of people are fearful right now. They don't know how to cope with what's going on because they don't have another source. But God is our source. He is our source, y'all. Don't forget what he's done. If he's did it, if he's done it last year, year before last, he delivered a lot of us from Hugo, uh, Hurricane Hugo. Hallelujah. He delivered us from ice storms. He delivered us from the Ebola that came forth one time, the bird flu. You don't think God is able to do all of this again? Hallelujah. And he's really confirming it behind me with the trees bowing. The limbs, the wind is blowing through the trees. Glory to God. Y'all share this video. Share this video. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus left his name in the earth. He left his name. He left his name. He left the blueprint for all of us to follow. No big eyes and no big U's. We're joint heirs of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. All God wants us to do, I'm going to close out with this. I want y'all to look at something. The next time that when it's dry and I guess when that season come out and you look at our ants, look at the ants, how they operate. Look at how the ants build a mound. Look at how the ants begin to uh, store up food. You'll see three or four ants carrying one crumb. Hallelujah. They're working together. They're literally working together. And God has allowed animals, he, he, he allowed Jesus to give us that blueprint, but he also gives us nature to show us how we can be successful and prosperous. Amen? So glory to God. Share this video today. Um, 
God is God. <laughs> I'm not afraid of anything. The only person I fear is God. Because uh, Timothy lets us know he is not, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but love, but power, love, and a sound mind. He has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. I want to bless the Lord for each and every one of you that is caught, uh, that is uh, just connected in this live, if you will. If you're led to share this video, somebody needs to know. Start, begin to use faith-filled words. Start speaking death over yourself and speak life over yourself according to Genesis, the rep from Genesis, the revelation. Hallelujah. Start speaking life over yourself. Songs 1, 18 and 17. Proverbs 18 and 21. Philippians 4 and 13. Hebrews 11 and 1. Begin to speak life over yourself. Begin to speak life. Because we need each other. Support each other. I'm not the only person that's doing live. That's speaking God's word. Now, if it, if it don't line up with the word of God now, I'm not telling you to do that. But we, this is how we destroy the devil's domain. By coming together. Bombarding heaven with the word of God that it will destroy the works of the devil. God bless each and every one of you. God smile upon you. And again, share this video. And, and um, let's just be about our father's business. And as we on social, social media, flood it out with the word of God. Flood it out with the word of God. Flood it out. Don't put no negative on, on Facebook or, or Twitter or Snapchat or all these other... Put, flood it out with the word of God and watch God move. Flood it out. Amen? Glory to God. Everybody else challenging with different things. Why not release the word of God? Why not just release the word of God? Hallelujah. Just release the word of God and watch God move. God bless each and every one of you. God smile upon you. And again, it is well. It is well.